Welcome to part four of Water Heater 101, where we will talk about valves and drain lines. Once again, the work covered in this video is not for beginners and should only be undertaken by a qualified and licensed professional. Let's get started. Every temperature or pressure relief valve or expansion control valve must be fitted with a drain line. The drain line must be made of copper piping and be of a diameter not smaller than the nominal size of the valve outlet. The length of the drain line, including the changes of direction applied during installation, must comply with section five of the standard. For example, the maximum length of relief drain line is nine meters, and at that length, no more than three changes of direction, where the change of direction is greater than 45 degrees, is permitted. It may be necessary to have the valve drain line discharge into a tun dish, when the distance to the point of final discharge is greater than the maximum given in the standard. When discharging over a tun dish, drain lines must have an air gap that is at least twice the diameter of the drain line. You may join the drain lines from the outlet of the temperature or pressure relief valve and the expansion control valve on an individual heater. Thanks for tuning in. You might want to check out part five, where we talk about testing and commissioning.